What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Ken. They're up in the building. Hey, we're here. It's episode number one. I'm excited to be back. Good health is a good investment. I've been gone for a little while, and I'm coming back, and I want to do something a little bit more consistent. Make it your responsibility to learn about and practice good health habits. Obviously, I want to be here for you guys. Plan activities that will improve your skills. I really want to get this channel up and off the ground, and I hope you're ready to take the journey with me. Your community offers many opportunities for a well-rounded program of physical activity. Take part in the full program of your community. So without further ado, let's get into our talks. Keep in mind, you need to include ways to build strength. We're basically talking health, fitness, nutrition. You know how we do it here. We're not gonna change the rules. Include activities that develop agility. We're just gonna bring it to you a little bit different. So without further ado, we're gonna go over things that are relevant. You'll need activities to build up endurance. Things that are trending, things that are fads, and of course, the right foods to eat to give you plenty of strength and energy. Things that are staples. The proper amount of rest you need for your daily activities. So if it's relevant, the best way is to keep your body clean and free from disease. If it's trending, if it's fad, and you know what the staples are. Remember the steps. Consider how much time you have. Check up on your general health. Check up on your physical ability. We're gonna keep them here. Plan with your advisors. But we're gonna talk about them first. Then have defects corrected. Uh, health and fitness, you guys already know. Work regular exercise into your daily program so that you'll be on your way to all around good physical readiness. Something that will help you now and for the rest of your life. It's everything stated, health related. Take regular workouts and make good health habits your responsibility. And of course, all the stuff in between that's clickbait. Make all these things your responsibility no. So a bit of a tangent, uh, but still moving in the same direction when it comes down to fitness. We all understand if you're here, you have put fitness in a place that you want it to be a part of your lifestyle. You want it to be a point of strength for you. You need it. You love it. You're learning to love it. Somewhere in there, that development, this journey is uh, in progress. What you will eventually grow to understand is that if you want, if you want to relate to fitness in a healthy and authentic way, then you need to connect to it mentally, emotionally, spiritually. The best way that you can possibly do that is Writing, in writing, journals. A fitness journal will serve as a tool to keep you honest with yourself. It'll show you where you started, where you have evolved, how you truly feel about fitness in that moment and be able to reflect back on that and how you're relating to it. To get the most out of a journal, all you need are some simple prompts. Like, how did the workout feel? What hurts? How's your body doing? What should your focus be to fully I recover? Joy? What made you feel good? What made you feel powerful? What made you feel strong? Over the course of a few months, those prompts are gonna help you answer complex questions. They're gonna help you and allow you to figure out how you enjoy to work out. It's gonna allow you to tap into certain emotions that maybe subconsciously you haven't understood, but by writing them out, you have to actually start to think about. Focus brings you actually like to do. Maybe things or feelings 
about things that you don't like to do and why. A fitness journal is going to help you develop why fitness is so important, nutrition is so important, your goals are so important in your lifestyle and help you establish that existence of fitness in your life outside of everything else, something that solely belongs to you. So my suggestion, Focus. my recommendation is with a fitness journal, whether it is an actual fitness journal that you bought that prompts you, that helps you uh, start with writing ideas or blank pages, what you wanna do is get to writing as soon as you finish your workout. When that dopamine is at its highest, when those endorphins and those emotions are running. When you feel good, your brain is releasing dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin, or endorphin. It's easy to see what turns them on when you know how they work in animals. Their happy chemicals turn on when they see a way to meet its survival need. Each happy chemical has a special job to do. Dopamine creates the great feeling that a reward is at hand. When a monkey sees a juicy mango at the top of a tree, dopamine triggers the good feeling that a need is about to be met. That motivates the monkey to climb the tree and more dopamine is triggered each time the, mo the monkey sees the mango get closer. When the luscious treat is all eaten, Dopamine stops because it's already done its job. Now the monkey scans the world for another dopamine stimulator, which will meet another need. When that blood is pumping, that way you're in the moment and, you're, re and it's, you're recording, you're recording those true, raw, animalistic, did I just get excited? <laughs> Emotions. Dopamine surges in a lion when it sees a gazelle it can catch. That releases the lion's reserve tank of energy. A lion who ran after everything would starve to death because it wouldn't have enough energy when a good opportunity came along. Dopamine is the brain signal that now is the time to go for it. You may wish you had that excitement every minute, but a mammal survives by making careful decisions about when to invest its energy. Here's one of them. Climb a 15-foot rope in 20 seconds or less. Can you do six or more chins? At least 45 sit-ups. Broad jump, seven feet or more. Run 300 yards in 42 seconds. Throw a softball, 175 feet. Float for at least two minutes. Swim 40 yards or more. Step off a 10-foot platform with your clothes on. Find out how you measure up to these standards, and you'll have a good idea of your present physical ability. So find a journal or create a journal that's going to be instructional and give you a set of prompts, like I was saying earlier, that have uh, specific uh, writing goals or charts or graphs or just some blank pages to help further your creativity, your emotions and uh, the rawness. It, it, it really does depend on your style and it will evolve, it will grow. So whether you're trying to get over something or develop a better relationship with your health, with your fitness, with your goals. I think a journal could absolutely get you there. Take it for what it's worth. We're gonna be discussing topics that are relevant, trending, fads, and staples. You know what the staples are. You know what they are. Don't act brand new here. Hard work, dedication, focus, and intensity. So, uh, without further ado, you know, Everything stated, health related, and of course, all the things in between that are clickbaited. That's what we're gonna do. Tight, tone, and conditioned. Focus! 
So if you're truly trying to create a healthy relationship with your fitness, with your health, with your goals, starting with a journal or starting there at that point may really be something, uh, a tool that works for you. Are you feeling joy? I am very happy to be here. Joy. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. I don't know what you come to do, but I come to praise the name. Lord, Lord. Mm, mm, mm. Girls, you can you can leave now. Thank you very much. There's a God somewhere. That's basically it. Son, I'm just gonna tell you this one time. Yes, sir. You want to keep working here. Stay off the drugs. Are you feeling joy?